we got a returning fight fighter coming back to the BKFC f- I, after I almost I think you want to say it. I want to say it's about over two, a year. I thought it was Definitely about two years, year. man. It's almost two years. We're gonna find out from him in a second. And uh his name is Jim Aylers, and he is the bare knuckle beast. Jim Aylers, what's happening? There he is. What's up? What's up? What's going on, man? How are you? Man, I'm good, man. Excited to uh get back on track and get back in the sports circle, man. So um things are good. How long has it been? Has it been almost two years? Um Since November twenty twenty, I believe, was the last time I fought. So a year, over a year, year and a yeah, few okay. months. Yeah. Year, oh, a year and a few months, yeah, but a year and five months. Man, it's been a long time. I got to tell you, man, when we saw that you were coming back, I was excited. I immediately uh, sent you a message. I wanted to come have you come on here. This guy has one of the most impressive fucking resumes on the BKFC roster. The, the four-fight win streak you went on was one of the most impressive people would have seen in that company, and I believe that truly. For those who don't remember, Julian Lane, Caleb, Caleb Harris – um leonard fucking garcia one of our favorite people in the world yep. and, uh, team, man. musical guy and elvin brito and elvin brito all, i mean all good people man yeah great all, people great fighters yes. yeah so welcome back uh what's taking so long man um man honestly i don't know man um you know after that fight you know um i went on and when I mean, we all saw how it happened and what happened and um you know, it just wasn't my night that night. But, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, bare knuckle, you know, just, just was busy, man. They had a lot of stuff going on, a lot of things. And, um, you know, I guess they just were hold, holding me for a special occasion or something like that, man. Uh, so, yeah, man, I'm glad, you know, I'm, I'm healthy. I, you know, checked my, my, my health and my head and everything, make sure that I'm, I'm good to go. And, I'm excited that, you know, I finally get this chance to get back. But, yeah, man, I think um, they were just waiting, waiting to use me, man. And and we're ready now. So so what exactly was it that, that got you to come uh, back? Was it just the, the right opponent at the right time or was it dollar? Man, I've been, I've, I've, I've been, you know, I've asked, I've asked to come back here and there a couple times, um, you know, and just I guess it just wasn't working out with the schedule. For, for my schedule and their schedule. You know, I wanted to do a few other things. I have I have my um, school. It's growing. It's very successful. Um, we just moved to a bigger location. Uh, you know, I'm just the really the big in the jiu-jitsu world right now also. Allers Martial Arts. Allers Martial Arts. And that's down in Florida? Yeah, right, so, right, and then, you know, just... Yeah, so we're in we're in um, South Florida in West Pembroke Pines. If you're in the area, you'll you'll know that spot. Um, but yeah, man, we just moved a bigger location and just um, a lot a lot of stuff going on. So just happy that I've, I found the time and now we're we're ready to go, man. Well, you got a you got a guy coming over, former B, BKB champion Connor Turney coming over. Um, do you know much about Connor or, or did you know much about Connor when they offered him to you? Or did you, did you say, uh, let me take a look at this guy and then say yes. Or did you say yes and say, I'll do my, my, my research <laughs> later. Let me take a look at this guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, man, I have never said, let me take a look at a guy. No, um, no matter who they've offered me, I, I okay. just, I just get in there and do my thing. Um, you know, I don't, I don't care who the other, who the opponent is usually. Um, you know, I'm not in my mind, I'm not fighting them. I'm fighting myself. I want to be better than I was the last fight and, and improve and, and do things that I didn't do before it. Whoever's in front of me is no big deal. It's, it's me versus me when I get in there. One thing that impresses me the most about like your time in the BKFC was when you get somebody in the clinch, I believe, I, I believe you have some of like the best, the strongest clinch work I've ever seen in there. Like when you get the grip, it's almost like you have like a death grip on this dude and you just and you just pound him out. And I know that Connor's coming over from BKB where they break up the clinch immediately. It's like traditional boxing rules with no gloves over there. I'm wondering how he's going to react once you get him in that thing and start pounding him with some fucking uppercuts, you know? <laughs> 
Um, I, I mean, we'll see, man. I don't, I don't think he's going to do well when, when that happens, but who knows, you know, of course he's, he's, he's training for it now and who knows, maybe he's coming up with some tricks up his sleeve, man. It's been, it's been a year since my last fight. And if anybody thinks that they can just go and watch footage of me and think that they're, they're going to see the same Jim Allers in there, they're definitely wrong because I have a lot of new tricks up my sleeve to, to go in there and, and just finish this fight again. You know, I need to get back to those knockout ways. Yeah. Did you, uh, did you get a look at the Elvin Brito, Caleb Harris fight the other night? Man, honestly, I, I have not got a chance to, to watch that one, man. And, you know, that's definitely um, something that, that has caught my attention, you know, considering I have fought both of those guys and beat both of those guys. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they just fought for a title of, of the new weight class that I'm jumping into. So that's kind of interesting to me. It is interesting. And actually today on the BKFC podcast, I'm not sure if you heard that, but Nate Shook actually was on there in place of Rob talking to Brian Sosha and your name got brought up and it was like, Hey, you know, if he happens to come back and win this fight with just one win back, you know, would you, would he get a shot at the title? And it seemed as though that that is an option after you win. I don't think it was set in stone, but it seemed as no. though that that's what Nate Shook was kind of alluding to. Like, yeah, if he wins, it's there's really you know, the way the division sense. is is stacked up right now. It makes sense to have you fight for the title after you if if you happen to win. Yeah, I mean, I would hope so. I wouldn't think anybody else would be five and one um, in that division as well, and you know, have beat the champion, the number one contender who just fought for the belt. Um, you know, I don't think anybody else in that weight class has done those things. So I would hope so that after after this fight, that my next fight will be for the belt. Right. The only other name that would get brought up would be Joe Elmore. And, but Joe Elmore is coming off a loss and hasn't fought since his fight with Leonard Garcia, where he broke his hand. He's been recovering this whole time. So coming back off of an injury, off of a loss, I don't see how that would make sense. If you're out there now, like... But I got to tell you right now, Jim, you're going to love this division. 165-pound uh, division in the BKFC has a lot of new guys, a lot of, a lot of new – this guy named Rynell Riley. You got to check out him. You got to check out Jordan Nash. These guys are uh, – Josh Sykes. They're all <clears throat> young up-and-comers and ready to bang, and they put out uh, – Truck and Carson's another one. They're a bunch of fucking animals. So you're about to have some fun in front of you, my friend. I see that, man. I'm excited. You know, that's, I want tough fights. I want the best fights. Um, and, and that was, that was another thing I remember. I remember I was offered a fight and, um, honestly, I was like, um, I, I want, I want tough opponents. You know, I'm not trying to get in there and get a win and get back into the win column easily. You know, I want the best that they can give me. And so, you know, I guess this is it, you know, they're bringing over this, uh, BKB guy who thinks, uh, BKFC is going to be an easy run and um, he's going to be um, in for a surprise for sure. Absolutely. Big Ben in the uh, comment section says Elmore and Ehlers would be a classic. I agree with that. The U2 would be a scrap for sure. That guy's. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure, man. I love that guy. That guy's crazy. Yeah. He's super <laughs> crazy. Fun. Yeah. He's, he's, he's like a... the nicest, craziest guy I've ever met. <laughs> That's a <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Perfect way to describe him. The nicest, craziest person you ever met. That's hilarious. Um, yeah. So in the in the time in your time off, you had some MMA fights, right? You did. You took some MMA fights. You did some grappling. Uh, you've been staying busy, right? Um. Yeah, man, staying busy. You know, I had I jumped on this uh, just just because I I just want to be the guy who's known for doing it at all, man. That's any combat sport. Um, competition that comes his way, I, I jump to it. And, you know, I'm constantly doing jujitsu. I've done combat jujitsu um, since then, um, where you slap on the ground with your opponents once you go on the ground. Um, I fought that MMA fight that I fought was a one night um, multiple fight um, MMA tournament. Uh, so I ended up losing to the champ, you know, but definitely fight of the night in that in that event as well. 
So in that tournament, the person that won the tournament, how many how many times did they have to fight? Fought three times. Three, three times. times. Wow. Yeah. Old school. That's some old school shit. That's some early uh, UFC yeah, shit. Cool. I love it. Um, Mike had, Mike had brought up some pictures. Mike wanted to bring up a picture of you. We were uh, yes, we were looking at some old some old Jamela shit and uh, oh, show, them, show them what you found, Mike. So the first the first thing <laughs> is something that some people might not know, but I think it's like a good piece of history that unfortunately never got to happen. Uh, and I think it's kind of cool, you know. It's this picture right here oh man you guys look completely <laughs> different too like which is it is uh, awesome like look at the smile on your face it, oh man they they were so upset that i was smiling in that picture they're like give us a serious face <laughs> you can't like, smile on your license I, or your cat card I, i'm like i'm just a happy person man you know i'm pretty excited about about winning this belt so they ended up using it which was cool man it really shows my personality but what the, happened yeah, what what happened? The fight never took place. So yeah, I mean, if you look at the topology, you know, Connor mm -hmm. Connor says he's never pulled out of a fight, but it's right there on the topology. One week yep. before the fight, one week before the fight, he pulled out of the fight. Um, said that he got injured in sparring. I don't know why he's sparring so hard one week before a fight, Twice. but um, yeah, yeah. The second time, the second time it was me. The second time I pulled out about six weeks before the fight, um, okay. ended up hurting my hand. But, you know, wow. one week versus six weeks is a big difference. Um, I ended up still still taking a fight against another guy and um, winning winning by uh, Darce Choke, I believe. So That's incredible. And then, like, a year, few years later, the guy's got fucking $400 million in a goddamn, nah. you know, 400-foot <laughs> yacht. <laughs> he, he, he definitely did everything right. Yeah. He did everything right. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Um, that's incredible. Can you imagine if the fight that could have changed everything? I don't know, but he seemed to have I a think, great life. I, I think he's still, you know, he's the type. I think, you know, and, and definitely knowing him from back then, you know, and seeing how hard he's worked, he's just, you know, he's a hard worker. And I think he would have accomplished everything that he wanted to accomplish, anyways. You know, when yeah. early. Yeah, he's just nonstop. <clears throat> Did you see his video he posted yesterday of him <laughs> eating that fucking ice cream? Did you see that? It's already clear thing. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> he, looked, he looked like he smoked a metric ton of weed right before he fucking <laughs> ate that thing. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. It seems like, you know, he, he's living that, that type of life right now. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard, right? That's why he hasn't had a win in a few times, in a few years, maybe. Yeah. When you have yeah. it all, it's hard to stay hungry. That's right. So... To, let's go to the other picture that uh, we pull we pulled out of the uh, history books here, and boom, uh -huh. there it is, the old the lightsaber at the ceremonial. The the famous yeah that was star... yeah go ahead yeah man that that went viral pretty quick I think uh, I remember it was um I think it was the opening day of Star Wars and. I had the I had the idea to to do this way in and Cole Miller was all about it, which was cool. And so I remember going home after that and seeing just the the views going up like one million, two million, three million. I'm like, oh, what's happening? This is crazy. Ariane uh Celeste is in the back really loving it too. She's yeah. She's looking at your sword and not Cole's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> actually <no. laughs> that was good oh man anyways man that's awesome so um really looking forward to this seneca allegheny casino new york march 12th on the same card that johnny bedford will be defending his title against jared grant have let me ask you this have you ever heard of salamanca new york in the seneca <laughs> allegheny casino prior to getting offered this fight Never, man. I was just, I was just excited to, I know I was born in New York City, but, you know, I know it's nowhere near the same, but I was just excited to get to go to New York and, and have family there and hopefully get that W for them there. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> keep going, keep going. I'm sorry. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. 
I was going to say, you want to know what a uh, couple of uh, Stu Nods over here thought when we saw that? We were <laughs> like, hey, uh, if there's going to be fights in New York. We we don't even have to get any plane tickets. We could just drive there because I live in Rhode Island. Kyle is in Connecticut. We only live like 20 minutes apart, you know? So we're like, ah, drive to New York. What? Two yeah, and a half, three two, hours, right? Yeah, so we planned hour the whole thing and we, you know, we finally look up the damn map. And we're like, what seven and a half hours where the fuck is this like it is i, I don't niagara i have to look falls it up almost it's oh, almost like in canada niagara right falls. i hear yeah. it's like in canada yeah pretty much but I here's the thing. That. don't make the mistake that a friend of ours did there's two casinos seneca allegheny casinos one of them is closer to the border in Niagara Falls, and it's only like maybe 45 minutes to an hour away, and someone we know actually went to that one to see the fights by accident. And then was like, they said there's no fights here, and we're like, we're here. Oh, we're at man. the fights. We've been here all weekend. And they had to drive and miss like most of the fights. So that's horrible. Make that mistake. No, I hope not. I hope not. Yeah, you know what? You know what uh, Nate and David Feldman, they call up Jim, and they're like, hey, Jim. You're a New York guy. You were born in, born in New York. How do you feel about fighting in New York? And Jim's like, fuck yeah, man. I want to fight in New York. Yeah. All right, well, good. Book it. Boom. Seven <laughs> hours from the city. <laughs> My family's going to have to... <laughs> the, the flight... Who knows how much a flight... I mean, who knows if they even have flights there? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'll land, I don't know. You just land on the highway because ain't nobody there. <laughs> I, I will tell you this. It was a. It's a very nice casino. It's in the middle of nowhere. They did. They put on a nice show there. I don't have any complaints about the yeah. casino itself. But these, the Hall of Fame's over there. The trek. The trek to get there is 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 a journey. You might pass some Amish horse and buggies on the oh, way man. there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've I've fought in some crazy parts of the world, so I'm sure it's not going to be too crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's one thing it isn't, and it's crazy. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> the only thing crazy is living there you oh, know? Man. but the bk hall of fame is like 45 minutes away so you definitely be able to like shoot over there and check that out you know scott Burke give a good a good tour of that place so that was like a huge highlight of our weekend when we went so got to check that out for sure that'd be cool definitely a goal of mine to be in that hopefully I'm, one day yeah. I mean, you got the resume already building to get there, so I'm sure you'll get there at one point. Mm -hmm. um, you going to make it out to Knucklemania 2 in uh, uh, Hollywood? What, that's what day? February 19th or something? Or Yep. Yeah, February 19th. Saturday um, night. Nate, get me some tickets if you're watching this. I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, tag that, man. Tag Nate Shook. Let's go. Yeah. Um, I'll you know, cut that out and send it to him. If I can. Yeah, if I can make it, if I can make it, and I'm not busy, uh, man, I'm 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 just like crazy booked with grappling matches and all, all sorts of stuff happening. Still, I just like to stay busy, um, really push myself all the time so that I don't have to get ready, you know. And I'm just always ready, ready for anything. Awesome. Well, you know what? Everyone's excited to see you come back and fight. Um, welcome back, finally, March twelfth. Connor Turney, BKB champ, coming over to fight the American. Um, I'm sure. So is he like an actual champ? Sorry to cut you off. Is I don't he, know. Is, is he, he like is he like the champ, or he lost his belt? You know what? I don't know if he's still the reigning champ. To be honest with you, I don't know if he if he. I don't think he didn't lose it. I know he didn't lose it. He's only lost one fight. So I don't know if he vacated well, and came over. Yeah, I mean, Maybe, uh, Mike and, I think, uh, I mean, he should just give me the belt after then, you know, personally, if, <laughs> you know, how are you going to call yourself champ if you, if you like me lose? So I wouldn't mind having that belt on my mantle. There you go. And if, it, if he doesn't let you take it, you might have to go back over to the other side of the pond and take it from him on his own turf, maybe. Oh, that'd be, I mean, we'll see one day. Maybe we'll do a crossover. Yeah, I know that BYB and BKB were doing crossovers with the with their two companies, but I just don't think BKFC is ever going to get into the cross promotion game. No, I don't think so. I think uh, BKFC is like the UFC of bare knuckle. You know? Yeah. Um, you'll see Bellator and One doing crossovers or something, but you're not seeing UFC doing crossovers with anybody. No, 
And like me and Mike were talking about it, a lot of people who are like BYB supporters, they like to trash BKFC. But like we never hear BKFC people trashing the BYB. Like honestly, we never hear that. And then if you really want to like compare the compare the field, uh, BKB on the cross promotion basically wiped the mat with uh, the BYB fighters. I think they went three and zero or four and zero or something like that. And three and zero, right? Three and zero, and then Mick Terrell comes over to the BKFC and gets dropped by um, by AJ Adams. So you know what I mean. Well, who else was a BKB guy? Um, uh, Tyler Goodjohn. Tyler Goodjohn. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. You should have fought go. him. I, I think I think you wanted to fight him at one point, right? At one point, man, yeah. But, you know, who knows? I don't know how the script goes and who's writing the story. You know, but, he's, um, a, he's a really good – like, he, he went one and one in the BKFC, and I don't know if we'll ever see him back in there again. But if you go and watch his, his fight with Luis Palomino – Palomino is, you know, going to go down as one of the, the greatest of all time in the bare knuckle world. You know what I mean? He's already like planting his flag as one of those guys and you fought him, you know, you know how good he is. He went five rounds with Palomino and went to yeah, war man. with him. He, he's a good, he's a good defensive fighter. You know, um, the only thing is sometimes he'll take a, a couple too much punches, you know, too, too many too many punches. Maybe not enough to knock him down, but enough yeah. to lose the fight. And that and that's really kind of what happened there. Right. Um, and that's one thing about Tyler Goodjohn. After every single one of his fights, his face is just mangled after everyone. Even the ones right. he wins. I don't want to get mangled like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who does? Uh, I rather I rather I rather get knocked out in the first round, going all out, doing my thing. Then lose five rounds, getting beat up every round. That's just like uh, not 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 the best thing I feel <laughs> for your face. Yeah. Well, let's do this thing. We're gonna do a, uh, a speed round with you real quick, and then we're gonna let you uh, say some final words and let you get on your way because uh, you got to get back to training. All right. So speed round, Jim Aylers. Number one question for you is best meal that you can chef up in the kitchen. Don't say ramen. I think I'm a breakfast guy for some reason. Eggs. I think that's really the only thing I can make. Like eggs, bacon. I make I make a full a full breakfast when I want it. But that's really I don't cook too much. My wife does does most of the cooking for me. You know it's funny. Love I love breakfast too. And it's funny you say that because me and my wife we're all in the military. You know, I'm me and my wife are in the military, Mike's in the military, we're all in the army. And both like of when, our brothers are in the military. Yeah, when when Amy goes away, right? When oh, my man. wife goes away. <laughs> And it's me and my boys. I cook breakfast <laughs> for dinner three times a week. Yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast for dinner is my thing. Oh yeah, we call Brambies. it Brambies. We call it Brinner in this house. We got. I'm like, boys, we want for dinner. <laughs> and they're like Brinner. I'm like, okay, bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs. It is fucking too easy. Let's do it. I love it, man. It's not. It's not. It's not too hard to mess it up. So, yeah. Yeah. and it's cooked fast too. I feel like. Exactly, exactly. All right, number two. Number two, favorite Florida man story. You got the Florida, Florida man, man journal? Yeah. Brought We're to you gonna, by Florida, Florida man. man Real Estate. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, gosh, Florida is a crazy place, man, a lot of times. Certainly is. Uh, but, I, man, I remember um, there was, like, zombies here for a little bit or something like that. <laughs> Bath, Dude, everybody, salt. everyone <laughs> fucking talks about this shit. Do you guys remember the zombies? It was crazy, yes. man. Um, <laughs> yeah, they shot the damn guy. He looked up at the cops like, ah, and then he just kept eating. Like, dude, what? You just get shot. Guys are, <laughs> these guys are running around. I, I personally saw one uh, running around just butt naked, right, <laughs> right, right, right through the streets, just cutting in and out of traffic. Oh my! God. I was like, what is this? What is happening? But. Um, uh, I'm glad they took care of, I mean, I don't know if they're still around, but it was got rid of them Florida zombies. Oh my Florida God. Zombies, man. I love it. Number three, um, best Lego set that you've built with your son. We saw that you posted that video and, uh, me and my son are into those, yeah, into the Lego Super Mario zombies. video. Yeah, man. Yeah. My son, man, he, he loves Legos. He's had, he's had so many, so many. God, I thought that's a hard one. I mean. I don't know, man. He's built so many. I can't. 
<laughs> right now it's it's Mario, man, and we're building a, a whole city. Like yeah. what what was shown in the that. video was only half of it. It was only nice. half of it. That's awesome. We, I we bought some of that here, but I feel like my daughter likes Mario. She's five, but she's not quite into like you know, put it together like you guys have put that together, like nice. Like I tried to like build a level and bring Mario <laughs> through it. You know how you can like collect coins and crush the yeah, Goomba yeah. and all that stuff. It, she doesn't build it that like I try to make it all nice. And then she's like, nah, let's just do something crazy. Let's I'm like, whatever, let's do up. something crazy then, you know? No, nah, he's he's a stickler for like <laughs> following the directions and going step by step. If I try to skip it, he's like, wait, we didn't do step three. So, <laughs> I'm sure that's nah, coming. That's funny, man. That's my, my son's the same way. My son sat down one day. We got him a um an Iron Man, like one of those artwork ones. It looks like a piece of art when you're done with it and you can hang it on the wall. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think it had like 3,600 pieces in it. And he sat there all fucking day and he did the entire thing in a day. Yeah. It mesmerizes them, yo. I swear. Yeah. It's wild. It's, 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 it's good. And it's good. It's good for their mind, man. They're building something. They're getting creative. And those are like the minds of engineers right there. Yeah, I love my, it. I, go ahead. No, I was, I, my son, like I told him that you can actually go to college to be a Lego engineer now. And yeah. he was like, what? <laughs> my brother came over here. He was here for New Year's Eve. And just before like they came over, I went and I brought my daughter, Brooklyn, to Barnes and Noble. And they have so many things there, so many toys and like Legos and stuff. Which I don't think people really realize how many like toys are at that bookstore. It's insane. Oh, man. <laughs> There's my, so many kids, puzzles and shit. Yeah, my kids try to trick me all the time when I go to Barnes and Noble. Yeah, but like, can we get something? Favorites. I'm like, sure. We end up, we walk in there. They're they're run to that toy section. Run to the toy section. I'm like, no, guys, <laughs> not a toy. <laughs> a book. Yeah, I mean that place is awesome, but um. Yeah, we got like a Minecraft set and I brought it back and she's like, let's build it. Let's build it. She just wanted to build it. It's all she wanted to do all night. And we were like order dinner and everything. So I was like, you know, Uncle Kevin will build this with you. And so he's like, oh, okay, cool. So I see him on the floor, you know, an hour and a half later, he's still on the floor over there. And she's like, you know, doing other shit. He's still on the floor, <laughs> like turning the pages and getting them, putting them together. I said, see, dude, that shit is so addicting. You don't even want to stop playing. You're putting together her toy. Yeah. She's not even paying attention anymore. <laughs> I, I see some of them at the store, you know, like some of these giant Star Wars ones that are like $500 or something like that. And I'm like... Do I want one of those? Where would I put it? <laughs> yeah, you want one of those. Yeah. I mean, it's I do. Home Alone one. A home Alone. <laughs> a friend of ours. A friend what of do ours you put it after you're done? I, just, yeah. I would just like make videos smashing them with baseball bats or something. Yeah, you should. Well, that's the thing. Like, we have a friend that built the um, the Harry Potter castle, and it's like 10,000 pieces. Hogwarts? It, it, wow. It Yes, it's it's like the biggest set you can get, and it's like over ten thousand pieces. It took her fucking like, it's super intricate. It took her like three months to build wow, this guy. I believe it. So now it's just built in their house, and it's and like, it, what do you do with it after yeah, that? I'm, I'm like now it's sitting on a Collecting table in your. Shit. It's just. I like think this. you guys gave me my new niche for my Instagram reels. Is I'm gonna start building these Legos uh -huh. and. Yeah. And time lapse the bill of the whole thing, and then just smash them. Then roundhouse it. Oh, and then smash the <laughs> shit out of them. Yeah, bare round knuckle house that shit. Yeah, bare oh. knuckle. Ooh, yeah, bare <laughs> knuckle. Then step on them and shit. Hurt your feet. Oh, did, I, have a, I have a video of that too. I have I have a video of me going to Legoland and just walking across Legos, and I'm like, only only dads will understand. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic, man. I uh, love it. We're talking about Legos way too much. Number four, Mike. All right, number four. Who are you in the Star Wars universe? Oh, man. Who am I in the Star Wars universe? Um, Man, who do I mean, who do I love? I love do you go? Do you go dark side or, you know? Maybe like Anakin, man. I, I, I was like, <laughs> like, man, I don't know, man. I, I, it's hard. It's hard. No, everyone doesn't like um, what's that? Jar Jar Binks, though. That's for sure. Nobody wants. No, to him. no one likes him. But... Don't pick him. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kylo was pretty badass later on in the series, like the, in the in the yeah, new. I know, one. and that's what you had. Big Ben says Chewbacca. 
<laughs> Chewbacca, oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, I like Chewbacca. That's fun. Now one. you got the Mandalorian. You like you got the new school guys it, it, nowadays. The, uni- the universe is so big now. It's so big since Disney took it over. It's uh, it's crazy. I try to keep up with all the books and all the comics and everything, and I just lost track. What about Boba Fett? Yeah, man, that's a good one. Let's go with Boba Fett. I like it. I like his new sh- his uh, new stuff too. Yeah, Boba Fett's badass. And last question for you. What's on your Mount Rushmore of breakfast cereals? Oh man, I I love. I mean, they, they, I guess they don't have a, a, a face some of them, but um, Reese's Cocoa Reese's Puff. It's not Reese's Cocoa Puff. It's Reese's Puff. Those are great. They have um, clusters now. You seen that? Oh no way! Oh yeah, yeah, the clusters. clusters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the cereal, though. Yeah, I've had them. I've had. I think I've tried every candy bar there is. I'm, no, I'm, there's uh, cereal one now. I <laughs> no, think no, Reese's they have Cluster the cereal. cereal. Reese's Cluster Cereal. Oh, yeah. No, I have not, I have not seen that. Brand new. I got to try it out. You're talking but to a cereal killer yeah. right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Reese's Puffs. I love... Um, um, dang, this is hard. Um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, that's, okay. that's so good. Mm-hmm. Um, Captain Crunch. Oh, and, for a little cut yeah. in the mouth. Got it. Oh, always. Why does it happen like that? <laughs> No, oh, good, but... but they're good they're good though yeah they're yeah. good um and and this one's basic but i love honey nut cheerios with bananas in them okay there you go i'm gonna tell you right now in my house right now i do not have captain crunch but i have reese's cluster cereal oh, nice uh cinnamon toast crunch and honey nut cheerios those are the three cereals, there you and those are the there three you cereals that are in the in the pantry right this second there you go you know what's up. That's right. I want my kids know what's up. That's for we sure. have chocolate strawberry Cheerios that came out. So we want to try those. That's what I have. Yeah, that and that, um, that cereal aisle has gotten a lot bigger since when I was a little kid. Oh my god, that's fantastic. I eat everything. Every time I see a new cereal, I have to get it. I don't give a shit what it is. I will buy at least one box so I can try it, and then I might not ever get it again. They had that, sour patch kids. I was like, I gotta try it. I've it's probably disgusting, but I have to try it. <laughs> uh i mean that's me with candy bars man I, that is me with candy bars i yeah. i went to england and i tried i think 33 candy bars in like four days or something like that jesus nice. christ yeah What's your favorite candy get bar? Diabetes. my yeah. favorite gosh so my favorite for years was anything reese's as you can yeah. see with the cereal anything reese's but one day after so you know how after Easter or whatever, they give discount stuff. Yeah. So I go and I buy like tons of these Reese's candies, like giant like eggs, pound eggs. And I'm, I'm just eating them one day, eating them. And I think I, I went, I must, something got me sick. And it wasn't the Reese's, but because I ate so many of them, I threw it up. And now I, just, <laughs> just looking at them makes me sick. No, now, so, no. yeah, it's it sucks, man. I'm actually turned in more into a into like a gummy kind of guy now, uh, and away from the chocolate. Nice. Yeah, those edibles. You gotta take like those. five. <laughs> take five. Like delicious. He the way he just described. Oh, take Reese's. five. Yeah, take five is amazing. That's a good one. And the, the, way, just, one. the way you just described your uh, incident with the Reese's uh, is how I feel about Southern Comfort. SoCo. <laughs> I haven't had that since high school. Nope. Yeah, won't everybody drink, had that. Yeah, but I won't. I haven't drank it since I was 19 years old. Won't do it. I'm 40 years yeah, old right now. I think most most adults have that story, and they're like, "No, no, I'm staying away from that." <laughs> All right, man. Well, that's an awesome. Uh, we've had an awesome time talking with you. You got a fight coming up March 12th against uh, Connor Turney. You got a few last words you want to say before you uh, get on out of here, and uh, maybe even a prediction. I don't know if it's too close. It's too far away to give any kind of predictions or if you want to yeah i mean I, i'm not really a prediction kind of guy I just know that my hand will be raised you know that's that's what always what i'm aiming for you know i'm gonna put everything i can into this camp and you know i like i said i got i got a lot of stuff to prove you know you know a lot of people think you know from one fight that that i don't have it or i lost it or whatever it is i mean i lost to the champ the guy who's killing everybody um, right now, you know, it's not like he's making any fight close. Um, but you know, I will show the world, I will show the world what's up. And then, um, I'll, 
I'll have a belt wrapped around my waist, hopefully by the end of 2022. Dude, well, it's good to have you back. Uh, Mike, you got anything else for Jim? No, I just thank you so much for coming on. It was a blast talking to you. Can't wait to see your <clears throat> fight, and maybe we'll run into you at Knucklemania too, hopefully, maybe. Yeah, hopefully, man, hopefully. Nate, get me those tickets. That's yeah. right, Nate, get the tickets. I'm going to have to cut that yeah. out and just send it to him. I don't know. <laughs> He's never talked to me through Messenger before, but I'll still send it anyway. <laughs> all right, man. Thank you oh, so man. much for coming on. And, uh, oh, there it is. There, oh, there's your Florida part. man all day. Florida yeah, man, man real fun. estate. I love the logo, man. Mm -hmm. I know, man. It's awesome. I got to say, I got to get you guys a shirt or something from him. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. That's yeah, awesome. That's all right, All right, brother, man. Thank you very much for coming on. Best of luck in your fight and in your return, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right, later. Thank you. Later. Later.